when your chain is a little loose, how do you adjust to make it tight? Pretty simple process. As you come down this way, we got the axle nut. We need to loosen this in order to do that. We need to take the carter pin out and then use these nuts to adjust it on both sides equally by looking at these lines and counting them. Let's do this. Right, carter pins are generally bent both sides. I already straightened some out. Uh, make sure you use a needle nose plier and keep it as straight as possible and then you can hit for it to come out easy. There you go. So cut a pin out. Now we need to loosen the axle nut. All right, so 24 millimeter castle nut comes as it will be tight but doable. So loosen it, you don't have to completely take it off. Down here, there are indications of how far the axle is on the frame. So you can count one, two, three, four, five, sixth line is where it is. There will be a parallel line on the other side. Down here, as you can see, you just have to crank it equally so it comes to the line that is corresponding to the other side. In order to do that, we have to loosen these two bolts and same on the other side and pull it back. Actually, we have to tighten these two, loosen the first one and tighten the second bolt so it'll go farther in, I believe. We'll see. All right. So the outside bolt, just loosen the nut and then crank it inward. If you crank it tight, the chain is gonna get tightened as well. As you can see, the wheel is moving outward. So in here we have one, two, three, uh, four, and right on the fifth line it's sitting. It used to be on the sixth. Now let's go do the same on the other side. So looks like the ideal spot is five and a half. Uh, so leave it at that and we'll come here and match. This one is at the fifth mark. So loosen it a little bit to match it at five and a half. I'm going the right way. Yes. That's why it's the yeah, way yeah, it's that's looser. it. Leave it. Okay, to be super precise, uh, measure one side with the proper meter. We got 58.99, which is basically 59 millimeters from here to here, and the chain is in the right. Um, the chain is in the right tension and we'll match it on the other side and we got it very precise 58.99 on this side as well so it is time to tighten the back nut once it's in position tighten the castle bolt as tight as possible and then we can lock it up okay. that's how it was initially right. once it's in position put two wrenches to keep it stable and tighten against each other so it locks it in place there you go that's it don't have to way over tight so now both sides have equal number of lines and the chain tension is exactly where it's supposed to be that's how you would adjust the chain tensioning on a kawasaki ninja and finally don't forget the cutter pin ideally use a new one but i don't have a new one so i'm just reusing the old one uh, put it in and make sure you bend it in two different directions so that the pin doesn't come out that's it so the cutter pin is in the castle nut and these are tightened chain is in the right tension and that is how you would adjust the tensioning on a loose chain in a Kawasaki Ninja 400 or 650 or any of the other Kawasaki's as well. And there you have it. I will see you in the next video.